Guys, we're going to take a first look at this cool new knife that Jared sent me. This is the Trivesa Volans. I like the Trivesa knives. This is not an exception. This is a very fun knife. Let's take a look at this from above. All right, guys, I, I absolutely love this knife. I have not had a bad Trivesa knife. This is the Trivesa Volans. Now, Volans is a type of fish. I do know that, and I can't, I can't tell you anything else about the naming. Uh, but this is a really, really fun knife. This is in, I think, their tactical series. Uh, so this is a 154 cm, very, very piercing, piercing blade. Uh, and it has been ground very thin behind the edge, really sharp, black micarta, micarta backspacer. Now, I have only had this in pocket for about three hours. I did cut up some cardboard with it and then cleaned the blade and everything up and then relubricated it. Um, I gotta say, this thing cuts surprisingly well for such a more tactical style blade. A lot of times these blades that come down really thin and have that piercing point, are not as good at cutters, but what they've done is they've ground this blade nice and thin behind the edge, beautiful finish on it, and it's in a comfortable position to cut with. They've done that with a lot of their knives. Their knives are very user-friendly, very, very nicely ground behind the edge. This is the Orion. Uh, it's not a real attractive knife, but it is a definite, definite, definite performer, and you got kind of the same thing here. I have not, like I said, not handled a bad Trivesa. Um, the cutting I did do was on some heavy cardboard and it performed really well. The micarta is done beautifully. It's married up nice and smooth. I didn't find any hot spots on the scales marrying up to the liners or anything. There's minimal weight reduction on this, but it's, I mean, it's adequate. It's, it's, I said minimal, but there's, you know, there's some weight removal done. They just basically bored holes in it. Access to your liner is really, really good. So it's done on a liner lock here. And they did a good job of not making this too intrusive. I, you can see that they removed some material here, but they didn't make it to where it feels too thin. Access to the lock bar is really good. Um, detent on it is pretty good. It's got a, a fairly snappy action. Now, I like I said, I did just clean this up. And so the new lubricant hasn't gotten a chance to really work its way down in all the way yet um nice milling on these scales with some it's got some cool lines to it and then backspacer is made out of the same material which is something i've started to really like that knife companies are doing is it gives it a new it gives it a unique look like a lot of times guys are going to have like a titanium backspacer i think the first one that i saw that was it was the petrified fish a knife that came in and had the same material, it had micarta backspacer and thumb studs, and it was really cool. So I do like this knife a lot. The pocket clip is pretty comfortable in hand. It's not a hot spot, and it carries nice and deep. So that means you can carry this pretty far forward, and they have milled that out a little bit so that pocket clip does not sit just flat. It is actually in the material. So Lots of good stuff on this knife. Oh, thumb stud action and flipper. Um, I like both. It's got ambidextrous thumb studs. You can, if you can get on it. I have big hands. I have a hard time doing it. Uh, but you can reverse flick. There we go. You can reverse flick off of the thumb studs. So it's got a lot of stuff going for it. There are a couple little negative things that I have found. Let's point those out. Turn it around after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that, that they don't lean either direction politically. Check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. So the negative stuff I found on this is minimal. There's only really two things saving the pocket. We'll go ahead and say it. Um, there's a huge lanyard hole in this. I'm not a fan of that. I wish they had done a pin or something here. Um, 
it is if you're into it though it's it's pretty broad you could put a, some large cordy to almost some eel tape in there um a couple small things uh outside of that the pocket clip is one of those ones you can hear it if you can hear that squeak i can feel it and so when i grip down on it and especially when i deploy the knife i put my fingers on it and then i can definitely feel that um the action is not as smooth as some of the other trifestas I've had, you got to really shake it to get it to go home. So that means that you, sometimes that it's got kind of a soft detent. So sometimes the friction in there, um, it prevents it from flying all the way open. Uh, hopefully that new lubricant I put in there, once it works its way through and the liquid and everything, because I cleaned everything up with alcohol, maybe that will, will help. And then just one final thing. There's a bit of a hiccup on the grind. Now you can see... As we go down, you can see how that material widens up and thickens up. That plunge is not far enough out to prevent some thickening of the edge. And you can see it on the edge bevel here. Let me zoom in. You can see how it starts to smile. Like it's already starting to have a bit of a smile right there. There's like a low spot here and then it works its way up. And that's simply just because um, they did not take the plunge out as far as they could have. But other than that... So far, it has been great in pocket. It is fun. It is a good looking knife and it's a lot of fun. So guys, let's turn us around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So yeah, like this knife a lot, a lot of fun. It's a very aggressive point, like piercing style blade. Uh, reminds me a lot of the Benchmade Fact, I believe. Don't quote me on it. If I'm wrong, I'll put a, I'll put a name for it down below. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it on this one, guys. We'll carry this for a little bit longer and see if I change my mind about it, but I really have not found a Trivesa I didn't like yet. They might not always be the most attractive knives, but they are performing really well when it comes to cutting and things like that. So that's it on this one, guys. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. You want to support the channel? It's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon, all those things. If you want to support the channel financially, I do have the sponsor you saw in the video, but I also have got Tempered Trail. They are both sponsors. Use the link for the Coffee Brand Coffee. There's also a link for Tempered Trail. And then I have got a coupon code at Fair and Forge Knife Works and over at Rosecraft Blades. Links for those have the uh, discount code built into the vendor or to the sponsors, and then that's the coupon code for those. But you can use coupon code Crazy Sharp at all of them, saves you 5%. I've got an Amazon store where you can pick up items like this. Does not cost you anything at checkout. It definitely supports the channel. You don't even have to get dressed to do it. And I do have a membership that is tier based. Everyone gets early access to videos, everyone gets exclusive content when I put it up. The premium and base, oh, everybody has access to the Gilded server, which is where I do the giveaways for the premium and baseline guys. And then the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind that paywall. That's it on this one, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video.